Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris from Oregon Pyramids, created by Chris, and I wanted to talk a little bit about cleansing and charging your Oregon devices, whether they be a pyramid like this, mini pyramids, uh, soon to be necklaces, keychains, or whatever that you have. One important thing that I always stress for people who are purchasing Oregon devices is to make sure you cleanse and charge them before you start using them. Um, the reason that that is, is Oregon devices are basically like filters. Their purpose is to absorb energy that's negative or harmful, convert it into positive energy, which is beneficial. Now, when a device has been purchased online or at a store or wherever, other people tend to, tend to touch them or come in contact with them. Um, for example, if you're mailing them, the post office is going to have a lot of negative energy because it's just a very stressful type of job. So delivering a package like this, for example, could end up the postman, the people at the post office, the people that are carrying the packages could have a bad mood. They could have headaches. They could have sleeping problems, what have you. And they can actually be absorbed into your organ devices. So there are several ways that you can cleanse and uh, charge your crystals so they will be just for you. There are several different ways. I'm going to show you the best way to do it and the most, uh, the least expensive. Now, there are several different ways. Like, for example, you could put your stones or organ devices in organic rice. Uh, you could put them in seawater. You can use a toning fork or a... Um, what do they call it? A singing crystal bowl. Uh, there's a lot of different ways, but a lot of them are either expensive, cost money, or not always easily accessible. Because if you don't, for example, live near the ocean, it's going to be very difficult to be able to get seawater to soak these in. Uh, the best way that I recommend, and I tell people this when they purchase any of my products, is to place your Oregon device or your stone or your crystal in direct sunlight usually on average of about only about an hour now like I said there were several different ways you can cleanse and charge your stones but placing it under the direct sunlight is free and it's easy to do and it's anywhere that you live you will have sunlight unless you live in places like Alaska where for three months it's total darkness then uh, can't help you there so unless you live in an area where there is no sunlight for some strange reason, the best thing to do is take your organ device when you first get it, place it in the sunlight for at least an hour, and then either wear it if it's a necklace or place it wherever you want to uh, get the best positive energy. Now, it doesn't have to stay stationary. Um, I have devices that you could put in your pocket. Obviously, you could see you could wear them. Uh, I have ones for your keychains or even pyramids themselves. You can bring them from room to room if you feel that you're going to need the energy wherever you're going. Think of these kind of like an air filter. They're only going to filter the area that you place them in, depending on the size, obviously. So if you need to put one in your office, one in your car, one in your bedroom, one in your living room, one on top of the microwave, the more devices you have, the more positive energy you're going to be able to get in your home or office. I personally, since I make these, it's a lot easier for me. I place them all over the place. I have one in at least almost every single room in the house. I have several in my car, several in my office. And as you can see, I wear, this is a shungite device that I made. It's got the copper spiral with a big shungite stone and more copper on the other side. So, like I said, there are several ways you could charge and cleanse your crystals. The, the sun, placing it on the sun is the best way to go. And especially if you are in a place where people are going to touch your devices, because some of these, I mean, the, the way I make them, as you could see, these stand out, they're very attractive, they will get people's attention. If somebody touches your organ devices, you would want to re-cleanse and recharge them, and again, do the same thing. And even if no one touches them, roughly every six months or so, again, charge and cleanse your pyramid or your organ device in direct sunlight, because think of it like a filter. A filter does have to be cleansed from time to time and cleaned. So it's not that all of a sudden it will no longer work, but it won't work as beneficial if it's completely absorbed, nothing but negative energy. So especially if you're in a high stress area, you'd want to recharge these as soon as you can. 
So hopefully that will help you guys. Don't forget, I have my web store and my new phone application. Uh, if you are interested in either one of those, check the link on my comments section. And if you've been one of those people that ordered one of my devices or even from somewhere else where you purchased it and you did not charge it, um, let me know what kind of effects you had when you first got it. And then when you charged it, did you notice anything different? I actually have a, a couple of my customers where they did not charge it and did notice a big difference when they decided a day or two later to actually charge their crystals. So if you are one of those people, or even if you purchase from somewhere else and you've noticed that, please leave a comment. All right, guys, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, as you can see over here, I'm going to show you guys how much work I have to do soon. I'm going to show you guys. These are all the devices, and that's not all of them. I still have some I made today that I have to turn into necklaces keychains and others so that's a little sneak preview what's to come so that's that's a lot of work because not only do i have to put the necklaces together the keychains together i have to take photographs of each one place them on my web store and then place them on my facebook page so it's going to be a little while so thank you for being patient but as you can see i have been working so thank you very much guys if you have any questions please don't be afraid to email me uh also we would love it if you share any of my uh posts and if you'd like to leave a comment we'd love to hear from you so this is chris signing off have a great weekend, and we'll talk soon. Peace to everybody out there. Have a great day.